Maybe that's what he's quite upset about. Yeah. I don't know. No. He's not sure that Eric comes flying in. Well, that took two seconds. Another yeah. fight. And, and uh, Hawking's got a guy over on the boards. Taze is going to go over there and intercept somebody. And Jared Eric's out here at center ice. Jared Eric's a good scrapper for the Tigers. He's got a good hard hit. Jared Eric is. And Hawking's going out. of Taze is jumping Jason in now. Him. Now Taze in there. Now we got no, we got a four oh, on all four here. Because they're all going at it. The Raiders have the extra man. Sonny McNack is going to go and get into it too. We got a little action going on here. As we get a line brawl to end this one. Yeah. It's going crazy here. Which one do you want? The referee, you got got the, extra, the referee got the extra Raider out of there, and that's going to help out a little bit. Because now we got even matchups all the way across. We still got Jared Eric with Isso, the original scrap, but yeah. Jared Eric's still pounding away. Now he's going. There he goes. Oh, he's feeding them hard there, Scott. That hurts. Now we got Brad Church comes in. Brad Hawking's going to go after him, though. Hawking's going to get hold of Church and feed him a little bit. Oh, there you go. Now that's going to go. Hawking's not going to put up with that crap. Because we got to send... As this is old-time hockey, Scott. Right here, old-time hockey. That's what it's all about. Toe Blake and Eddie Shore. Well, now... Bob Lux is edging on Raiders coach Don Clark. Yeah, Lux dropping his jacket. He wants to go. Oh, they're going to meet in the alley behind the rink here. Oh, look at this. Now he's got the a coaches. Uh-oh. And here's a Raider going after somebody. Darren Wright has got it's one uh, tiger wrapped up. Wasn't it Graham James that went naked or something like that once? We're on the way to get in there. Here tonight, do we? <laughs> I'd put five bucks on Lokes behind the Zamboni after the game, though. As now we got right here getting cocky, kissing, kissing to the crowd after his team's been humiliated. They lost four out of five fights here in the last minute. And he's getting cocky. Well... It's the Raiders, uh, uh, <laughs> a poor display of sportsmanship here. <laughs> this is not what we paid eight bucks to see, is it? I don't know. <laughs> As this game approaches the yeah. three-hour mark. Okay, we got the, okay, uh, let's see, we got... Now section two fans getting in as always. Okay, so we've had five fights. We've killed off the last three seconds. There's five seconds left doing some quick math. Another 12 <laughs> fights, we're out of here. That's the way the game's going to go. It's an 8-1 hockey game. And uh, I'm proud of Lux for keeping his clothes on. Not too many people want to see him naked walking around the rink here, right? <laughs> so I'm proud of him for that. The Raiders coach, he's... I don't know why the Raiders coach is... Uh, he's upset for some reason. Oh, surprise, surprise, a fight. Like, I, don't know what he's, I don't know what he's mad about. Uh, Jared Eric instigated that whole line brawl. He right out the face off. He came. Well, out yeah, he, he came from about 30 feet back. That yeah, okay. Jared Eric. Now you can see something was going to happen. There, there's a lot of chewing and going on out there. Period. I've got arena manager John Boxstein down there. Yeah, and uh, the thing is, is like the Raiders lack discipline the whole game. Now at the end of the game, their coach is lacking more discipline than anybody else on the ice. And you can see where it all stems from. That's a horrible job of coaching a hockey team. You got 17-year-old kids. You don't go whipping your jacket off and your tie off. You don't challenge other coach to a fight in the parking lot. You try and keep your team under control. You got no business doing that. Uh, these are 17-year-old guys. Most of them are taking grade 10 and 11 algebra. <laughs> you don't have to be a fool and make a total ass of yourself while you're doing that. That's just uncalled for. Yeah, it's unfortunate the Raiders don't come back here again this season. Well, yeah, you know, Unless that's it's uh, playoffs. Wouldn't that be almost looks like a body laying down there. It's just some equipment. It's not a body. Don't worry. There's not a body <laughs> laying on the ice. But it's uh, as the Raiders are starting to clean the gear up a bit. A lot of gear laying around. It was a uh, long time since we've seen a line brawl here at the arena. <laughs> well, you, I mean, the way this third period went, you, well, you I mean, could almost sense, I mean, the Raiders... Yeah. And, and I thought, would they come on and try and win the period? No. Right off the bat, they didn't do that. They, they showed their frustration. They just kept taking the penalties, instigating fights, and now finally the Tigers said, hey, look, we had enough. Uh, and, and, some of, and some of what happened was they're comparing cuts here in the Tiger locker room. Uh, look at them all. They're all uh, they're comparing. They're going over the game notes of the fights back here, eh? 
as they're all talking. There's one of the Thompson boys back there. Lawrence Hayes laughing about it. A and the Raiders coach loses all his cool. The referee lost control early. Remember when Jeremy Thompson got, or Rocky Thompson, I guess it was, didn't fight back and yet gets a fighting penalty. That's what started the deterioration of the game. The referee makes a horrible decision like that, and it just reflected through the whole rest of the hockey game that you got to fight in order to stay alive out here. Whereas if he, he sends that guy off, doesn't give anything to Thompson, probably the fighting gets tamed down. Instead, he, he, he sends 